Hi! Millions of factories function every day to supply people with the kind of stuff that we all got used to by now. Modern factories are extremely powerful, and the kind of machinery they use is impressive. And it's a real pleasure to watch some of those processes happen right before your eyes, especially in real time. So why don't we have a look at some of those incredible next level production processes. Foil fiberglass cloth is one of those pleasant things that you just want to keep looking at. Isn't it satisfying? Looks great! And the way they roll them up is also very nice. Look at them rolling it up. We make hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of plastic bottles every day. Tons of plastic end up in oceans or dumps. But the making process is, is very interesting and pleasurable. It's quite intricate, but at the same time, a simple kind of train of events. Don't you just love that smell of freshly cut wood? There are many ways people treat wood and there are lots of wood cutting equipment available for us today. All sorts of sewing, chipping, crushing and smashing things. See? There are many stages of production and as usual it all looks very nice and fun. When it comes to cutting metal, it is crucial to adjust the parameters 100% accurate. When you see some of these processes happen, it's sort of hard to believe that it's all for real. I think most of you guys saw ampoules before, but there are many people who know how they are made. It wasn't easy to create this sort of thing, I'm sure, but the result is staggering. Generally, mass production allows for a cheaper and a lot more convenient way of making things. Imagine how much longer it would take making all of this by hand. Even these kinds of chains are made at factories by machines. It's a pretty difficult task for humans, but robots do it fast and easy. And did you know that metal mesh is also made by robots? If you are curious, here's how they make them. Kinda cool, isn't it?
People who come to airports and railway stations usually carry their luggage in those funny suitcases on wheels. And do you know how they make them? These days, this process doesn't take too much effort, and it looks interesting. Look at this thing. Not a man in the world can bend it. So this is how they came up with this device. It's easy to use and it helps a great deal. And that's how they make wrenches. Kind of like they used to make swords back in the day. Although these days, it's much easier. And this is how they make nuts right now. See? They are red hot, but they cool down pretty quickly and then they look normal way. And this fun, flabby thing leaves prints on dishes, quickly and easily. No idea what this is, but it certainly is something that you can watch for hours and hours. Steel rope is a kind of product that should always meet high quality standards. This kind of machinery takes up a lot of space, but it works very well and very fast. Plastic is so popular today that we try to make everything out of it. It allows workers to speed up the building process and it certainly helps building houses much quicker. What you see is a type of roofing slate. Only it's not made of slate, it's made of plastic. What's good about it is that it's light and that means a great deal when it comes to building. See how they make hangers now, very fast. One machine can make about a thousand of those in a workday. Rubber gloves are kind of essential these days. Luckily, today is not a problem to make those at all. Farming evolved big time over the past years. Technological development let us get more food than we can eat. Milking goats has never been easier. They call this thing carousel. Every goat produces about 3.5 liters or Three fourth of a gallon of milk every day, and we get about 1,000 liters or 220 gallons of milk off a goat on average. A painful process for humans and an easy task for a machine. Cow milk is used more often than goats, and of course, people rarely milk cows by hand these days. Those milking machines can host, feed, and even wash goats all at the same time. Pretty convenient, right? They can't put a bull there though, because bulls require a different kind of treatment. Only the best bulls become baby makers. Those bulls are normally very large and are kind of hard to handle because they sometimes get very aggressive. I think all people have things made of glass at home, but we rarely think about the way they are made. Which is a shame because sometimes it's like real art. Another very accurate and strict process which helps to prevent any kind of defect. Shoe parts are not a problem either. The way we make soles now looks kind of like cooking.
Back in the days, carving used to be a difficult kind of thing to do. These days, however, lasers do it fast and very precisely. Imagine how much weeds people eat every day. So in order to feed everyone their favorite weeds, people came up with this way of making lots and lots of it. Thank you for watching this video guys, if you like it don't forget to press the like button, subscribe and tell us which one of these processes did you enjoy watching more than the rest. See you later!